as on behalf of St Martin's Church community, welcome you into St Martin's Church. My name is Stuart and I'm the rector here. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to this building for this particular public meeting about the markets. There has been over many, many years a long-standing relationship between St Martin's and the markets. It's gone through all sorts of ups and downs and ins and outs over the years. But it's important, I believe, as Rector in 2011, that we establish and maintain and build on what is a very important relationship. And that's particularly true in the current climate with all sorts of uncertainty and the campaign to save our markets. And we in St Martin's as the church community are very happy and pleased and committed to supporting that campaign. I'm going to stop talking, so be glad I'm not going to preach a sermon, and I'm going to hand over to Keith Smith, who is on the Wholesale Markets Traders uh, Committee, and Keith's going to come speak now. Thank you, Keith. Thanks very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm from a company down in the Wholesale Markets, which is just on the back of the ball wing. Um, we've got 75 companies. Down there, we employ 1,100 people directly, and we've got about 3,000 people indirectly employed. So we feel that we've got about over 4,000 people that's dependent upon the wholesale market and its future. Our turnover is 275 million pounds, and we get produce from all over the world. We sell a vast range of fruits, veg, fish, poultry, meat, and flowers. Uh, we service restaurants, retail shops, obviously the ballroom. Many of the places that we serve are within 10 miles of the city, but we also serve a lot of customers who come from way outside the city, farther fielders, Shropshire and Cardiff. Um, so we bring a lot of business into the city. In spite of the recession, we have a busy market operating six days a week from 3 a.m. each morning. In terms of where we're up to today, we spent five years with the council planning them for either to upgrade our current site or to build us a new market from the proceeds of any redevelopment sale of our current site. During the last five years, the council have all allowed our site to become run down, plus creative uncertainty for traders. We feel with a proper future plan, we can create a thriving wholesale markets and give a great service to the people of Birmingham. On the 28th of July, totally out of the blue, the council told us any new market off them was not now in their plans and they wanted us off site within two years and that our site will be bulldozed. It's a ridiculous time scale and traders haven't got the money to move without the promised council money. Since that meeting in July, We've gone into consultation meetings with the council and have visited two sites that have asked us to visit. Our trader's stance to the council is we want to stop on our current site and develop and refurbish it, or we want the council to carry out their commitments to continue to build us a new market from the proceeds of any redevelopment of our current site. We feel let down by the council we are cooperating with all their requests during consultation, however we feel they are being unhelpful in terms of their initial stance of making a decision without consulting and involving us, and then since July not giving us a clearer picture, not giving us financial figures that we've asked for, and for ignoring our requests on cons consultation questionnaires to include questions on remaining on our current site. We have asked for a meeting with Council Councillor Whitby, but have had no reply. We have also been accused by Councillor Tilsley of being unhelpful by not visiting proposed new sites when we have actually visited them. He also accused us of giving out misinformation, which we haven't. If anyone's been giving out misinformation, it's the City Council again and again. We have had tremendous support across the city from Labour and Pui Shibuna Mahmood. Liberal MP John Hemmings, various other MPs. We've got fantastic support from restaurants, retailers, the Birmingham Evening Mail have been doing a great campaign, 
And of course the Bull Ring have been helping us on the wholesale markets as well and the general public have been fantastic. And of course Colchi has come down and supported us. He visited the market a few weeks ago, early in the morning, we woke him up. Um, and he'll tell you, I'm sure, a little bit about that visit in a minute. Uh, so, basically everyone down the wholesale markets, we're very concerned about the futures. We've got a lot of people working down there, very hard working people from in the city. A lot of people get up at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. They're down the markets, they've finished at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock going to bed. Hard working members of the community and we thank everybody here and everybody else who's supporting us. We're extremely grateful to you. And I'll just hand you over to Denise from the board. Uh, hello everybody, um, thank you for joining us today and thank you to St Martin's Church for allowing us to use the space for this important meeting where we can share the information that we have with you. I'm Bernice Ellis, I'm a trader, a third generation trader out on the open market. I'm also co-chair of the Open Market Traders Federation. I'm going to tell you the story from the traders point of view out in the retail markets. On the 28th of July we were invited to a meeting with the market manager where we were informed as retail market traders that in 2013 the wholesale market would be closed and demolished. Those were the exact words that the council used to, to explain it to us. This is devastating to your retail markets. Basically what the wholesale market does and how it relates to you is that it serves the retail markets to all the food produce that you see out there. Your meat, your fish, your fruit, veg, flowers, everything. Without our local supplier somewhere especially close in the sister site relationship that we have there, we don't have any transport expenses, it allows us to keep our prices cheap to you. And the format at which we work out on the retail market there is we pile it high and we sell it cheap. And by having the wholesale market so close, it enables us to do that. If they take away the wholesale market from its current location, especially if they don't relocate it close towards, to us within Birmingham, we're in big trouble. We are not going to be able to serve you at the prices that you're used to serving. The markets out there forms a bottom benchmark price marking for retail food in this city. You take away the bottom benchmark and what happens? The top benchmark rises. We've got a struggling public. We're worried about our pockets right about now. We don't need to lose our wholesale market because that is going to cause the cost of food to you to go up. Without our wholesale market, we're going to have to buy lorries. The road structure around the retail market there would not justify us being able to all come at the same time every day and deliver our goods. We would block the whole of town. So if we were able to, to financially keep going, the council would deem us unviable for the damage that we would do to the traffic flow of the city. So basically what we're looking at is a situation where the council are not saying they're going to close down the retail markets, only the wholesale but they are denying what the council know very well, and that is the relationship and the, the trading status quo between the retail markets and the wholesale markets. You change that status quo, and we're gonna lose our retail markets, and we're gonna lose them for good. So we're saying to, the, to the, the officials and the people who are making these decisions that the public of Birmingham want and need their markets. We provide a service to this city, and it's our inherent right to, to benefit from that market. So basically, I, I just wanted to relay to you the relationship that we have with the wholesale market. We need the wholesale market. Without a wholesale market, the retail markets are finished. I'm going to hand you to Carl Chin now, who's going to tell you about the history, and thank you all again once more for coming.